Then I see rolling back at it again with you guys with another video that I'm about to go ahead and show y'all how to make some really good fish. Yes, y'all, I am making some fish again. We're gonna fry them with some fries that I'm gonna have to that I'm about to prepare for. And what I'm gonna do with those fish after I fry them is we're gonna like you know flavor them up with some of these lemons right here that I got. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna just like dress it up with some parsley. Let me see if I can find it, y'all. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. We're gonna dress it up with some parsley. That I got right here. That's what we're gonna dress it on up with. With some of this parsley. Check it out. Alright. Parsley flakes. And then of course. You know we got to have some of that good old coarse ground black pepper. Got to have that. Got to have it on your, on your uh, list. And um, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do too, use too much seasoning. Um, I actually do have some lemon pepper that I do have here in my pantry. Uh, in which I will get to that in a little bit, all right? So, hang on there with me. You know what I'm saying? Your boy gonna be right back. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. What is going on with y'all? All right. As you see, I'm holding the fish, and I'm about to go ahead and prepare that's on that plate, and I'm about to season it up real good. So, what I had used, um, basically, I actually made my own seasoning right there as y'all see it's got kosher salt coarse ground black pepper onion powder and garlic powder and a little touch of old bay seasoning um, so there we go i'm just gonna coat the fish up on top of the um which is the uh the meat side um, yeah and then i'm turning it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the skin side. Yep, just like that. I didn't like overpower it while I put the season on it. I just put just enough on it to uh, basically get the same, you know, basically get the, the same amount of flavor as you see. It's well seasoned. Everything is good. And as you see me getting the pot and stuff, getting it ready and as you see I got a flower inside the bag and what I'm doing is get ready to turn the stove on so the oil can get hot and I'm going to take each fish and I'm going to coat it inside that I'm sorry y'all you know kind of having a technical freeze up going on but anyway I got the fish inside the bag and what I'm doing for each fish is I'm going to Make sure I tie it up real good. Tie the bag up. Quote, go ahead and uh, get the fish and stuff. Coat it good on there. And then after I uh, make sure the fish is coated good enough, I'm going to untie the bag and take the uh, fishes out. Or should I say the fishes? <laughs> and yes, y'all, you know, my hands are a little... My hands is actually dirty from the, uh, from that, uh, you know, I'm, you know, my hands are very dirty messing with that flower, you know what I'm saying? But next time, I'm going to use some gloves, okay? I need to get me some gloves when I'm about, you know, handling food and stuff like that. And, and but anyway, I got the fishes out the bag and I'm just knocking the excess flour off of it, getting all the excess off of it, and I'm just going to lay it in another plate and that plate that I had used I'm going to just basically toss that plate away and as you see me you know as you see adjusting everything together there goes my pot heating up there go the fish that's on the plate I'm letting that sit out for, for a minute or two so that seasoning and the flour all that can you know settled in before I put the fish inside the pot so it can be ready and as you see me getting ready to do I just not too long ago put the fish inside the pot and that's the first way as you see there we go nice golden brown right there look at that 
tip. Man, look at that fish. Y'all can't tell me that's golden brown right there. That's some golden brown goodness. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 indeed. So, yep, that's the first wave of uh, the fishes. And, you know, I'm going to do the second wave as that one gets going. As you see, look at that. Look at that beautiful fish. That beautiful, oh my goodness. Look at that, look at that grease. When you know your grease is hot enough, the only way you can know your grease is hot enough is when you get it going. Oh my goodness, it is, ooh, I'm telling you. Long as your oil is at 350 degrees and knowing that it's hot enough, you can, look, that's when you know it's ready to fry. So as y'all see, I got the second wave of the fish inside the pot and it's frying already. And um, we're going to show y'all the next one, all right? All right, y'all. So the next, next thing I'm going to do is, you know what I'm saying, we got the fish and stuff out the way. We got the fish done, and now we're going to get those fries. And the fries is not going to take long to cook. French fries take, I would say, give or take maybe two minutes or three minutes the most. Because French fries does not take that long from the fry and the oil. And the only way you can tell the French fries are done is you can um, feel it. You know, by taking your tongs and feeling that those fries getting a little hardened. When they fry in the oil, you can tell they're done. But what I'm getting ready to do right now while the fries is cooking, I'm going to dress up those. As you see, I'm cutting me up some pieces of lemon. I'm taking those lemons and I'm putting each cut up lemon on top of the fish. And as you see, I'm squeezing some of that lemon juice up out of there. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you it was so good, it was so good. That lemon juice from the lemons and stuff, it set it off different i'm telling you it's different <laughs> so that's what i'm doing pit you cutting each lemon putting on top of that fish and get some of that juice some of that lemon juice from the fresh lemon juice from the fresh lemons and last thing i'm gonna do after i get that is i'm gonna take some parsley flakes i'm gonna take some parsley fake flakes and i'm gonna dazzle some parsley flakes on top of that fish Oh my goodness, you, you come on now. Y'all can't tell me that look good. Just wait till y'all see the picture of this. When y'all see, look, once y'all see this, oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. I told y'all it was good. Y'all, well, there go the finished product. Take a look at it. This is the final product right here. There goes my fish. As you see, I added a little parsley on there, and there goes the lemons on top of them. So, yes, everyone, this came out good. I got that finished. But there goes my fries. I put a little seasoning on them, so it's good. Anyway, y'all, thank you for tuning in, checking me out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm about to go ahead and dive her in these fried, good-looking fish right here. And... HNIC Rolling is out, as I always say at the end of my videos. Peace and let love in your heart, in your life, in your mind, in your body, in your soul. HNIC Rolling is out of here. I'll check with you guys later. Peace. Hey, listen, nigga, from South it'll let two uh, niggas uh, from the south in. Like we got a demo tape and nobody wanna hear it, but it's like this the south got something to say. That's all I got. Let's creep at the back, we hot like Joe. Like Joe. Make way two like, coats in the room. Uh, niggas mad cause we took off.